Since many years, GIZ is supporting developing countries in making their energy systems more sustainable through the promotion of renewable energies and energy efficiency. Due to the cost reduction in renewable energies in the last years, renewable energies have become competitive in many market uh, segments, off-grid as well as on-grid. For example, in remote areas, uh, rural areas, without uh, connection to the electricity grid, already today solar energy is the least, uh, the least expensive solution for electricity supply, cheaper than, for example, uh, diesel generators. And also in on-grid applications, uh, renewable energy uh, technologies have already reached the level that they are competitive with uh, uh, conventional power plants in many of our partner countries. So due to this decrease in the costs, we can observe a high increase in the application of renewable energy technologies in our partner countries. The recent cost reductions for renewable energy technologies, particularly solar and PV, have the potential to have a profound impact on a developing countries' economic development. However, what we've seen to date is that deployment hasn't really matched our expectations. IRENA's analysis of 8,000 renewable energy projects around the world clearly shows that renewables are the economic solution off-grid, um, but also increasingly for grid supply. Uh, so what we want to achieve is to see that translated into accelerated deployment. Uh, and this is a very exciting time because millions of people's first opportunity or access to en modern energy could be renewable. In many projects we work with our partner countries to overcome the well-known barriers and challenges for the application of renewable energies which are unfavorable framework conditions, economic and technical challenges, lack of expertise and know-how, to name just a few of them, and we will continue to work on them because they are still hampering the uh, deployment of renewable energy technologies. But with the increasing share of renewable energies, we start to observe in some of our partner countries new challenges uh, coming up related to the uh, power system stability. For example, the sun doesn't shine, the wind doesn't blow 24 hours a day. So the management of the power system uh, is a very, uh, gets a very critical task. And with countries like India, we start working on these uh, new challenges. Another challenge related to the rapid increase of renewable energy technologies is capacity building. All these new power plants have to be planned, built and maintained and our partner countries need skilled experts to do so. So we have to in intensify our activities in the field of capacity building and training. Unfortunately, developing and emerging countries still face significant barriers to the uptake of renewable energy. Um, they can be institutional, regulatory and financial. The issue is that it's often very country specific, so it's difficult to provide solutions that, uh, that are a cookie cutter approach. You really can provide some recommendations, but then it needs to be uh, based on an assessment of the individual country's situation. Um, what we see, particularly with the analysis that we've done, is that the costs and equipment reductions have not been matched in total installed cost reductions and we're working with our partners, particularly GIZ, to actually look into the reasons for these differences and provide recommendations or a toolkit to help countries accelerate the deployment of uh, renewables in their markets or develop new markets for renewables as quickly as and efficiently as possible. If you work in such an innovative field like renewable energy technologies, uh, close cooperation between research and practice is essential. So first of all, I would like to highlight that we have already a very close cooperation with institutions from the research and development uh, community. For example, uh, the institutes of the Fraunhofer Gesellschaft, the Wuppertal Institute for 
climate change and energy, the Öko Institute, and also with the IRENA Innovation and Technology Center. We work together on studies. They participate uh, in our appraisal and planning missions. Uh, with they work as consultants in our projects. We exchange our experiences in workshops and and uh, conferences. And we will definitely continue to do so, especially in the uh, new fields of the new challenges that I mentioned before. Well, in fact, given the uh, number of barriers that are facing renewables today, there are ample opportunities for, uh, for collaboration between research and practitioners. IRENA's mandate is very clear. We're here to accelerate the deployment of renewables. So we have to, in fact, provide recommendations, resources and information that will contribute to accelerating deployment on the ground. That's why we want to work with our partners uh, around the world, including GIZ and others, to provide recommendations which are tailored to their needs and anticipate the future problems that might arise when we try to achieve some of these longer term, very ambitious goals for the deployment of renewables.